I do not believe this, but yes, somehow Steve genuinely is coming to Smash. This has been a meme for the longest time, and every time I look at this video, uh, you know, seeing Steve side by side by Mario, it still looks like a meme, but it very much is real. And in today's video, I wanted to show you a bunch of this. I wanted to talk about the movesets that these characters actually do have, because interestingly enough, not only is this not just Steve, they managed to get four Minecraft characters into this game uh, as one fighter, but also uh, on top of that, there's a bunch of movesets. It's very interesting interesting, but let's just dive into the trailer, because as you can see, things continue right here, and it still looks fake, more fake when you see Steve eating the, you know, cooked beef, uh, whenever you see him, uh, you know, stun up the thing, but the trailer continues, and my god, does it get epic, so, uh, I'm gonna share it with you. I can't believe there's a real world where this is a genuine set of moves you can do to a character in Smash. Obviously, it looks like the blocks break real fast, but what what is happening here? Okay, I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna just keep playing. I, I, I can't, I can't. And then it turns out it's Alex as well. So not only have they got the protagonist of Minecraft, the most notable and recognizable character, but also Alex is one of the swappable uh, you know, parts of this character, two-part character, Alex and Steve is the same thing. And as we see Alex, things get even crazier. Okay, so that was an incredible trailer getting a look as to what Steve could really look like in Smash Right. It even has Alex, except, oh wait, it keeps on going. It keeps on going. So yeah, I really can't get over this. It's hard to even get coherent thoughts out over the idea of like, oh my god, it's really happening, Steve is really in Smash, but let's try and have at least a few of them right here, because first of all, this is the most incredible listening to viewers and fan demand, etc. we've ever seen. I mean, uh, you know, the, the idea of Steve in Smash is one of the biggest memes on the internet, not just in the Minecraft community, but across the Smash community. I mean, who wouldn't want to have Steve as a character? It seems like a joke, but they've really gone and done it. Second of all, the fact that they know what they're doing with this announcement, like they have deliberately timed the full reveal where you'll learn all about the moves, etc. This is a thing they do for each fighter. That's going to be happening an hour and a half before Minecon Live, so they really are tying together the Smash Bros and the Minecraft things so you can watch both um, at, you know, together. They, they've synchronized that properly, which is super interesting and really shows the Nintendo commitment to Minecraft. It sounds super bizarre, but Nintendo and Minecraft really do have this super close relationship. If you have a Nintendo Switch, you'll probably know that like two-thirds of the new news posts that go on there are about Minecraft. If you have a Nintendo Switch in Minecraft, you might know about the Super Mario mashup pack. They have collaborated before, and we've seen Nintendo explicitly say that one of the biggest audiences that they want to go after was the audience that Minecraft had a huge stranglehold on just a few short years ago. And, you know, debatably, if you want that, like, uh, you know, like, but under 13 demographic, uh, you know, who has a bigger share of that than Minecraft? I mean, you might argue that somewhere close in there is like a Fortnite or something like that. 
like that. But the fact is, Nintendo knows they need to have a super strategic partnership with uh, Minecraft. So to have this actually be pulled off is incredible. This is one of the biggest dreams they finally made happen. And it's such a clever move because it also moves towards that Nintendo X Minecraft thing. That move that both parties really, really, really want. And, uh, you know, it's really great to see because if it goes, you know, if we start with uh, Minecraft coming to Nintendo platforms after years of not being there, and then it goes to a Super Mario mashup pack inside of Minecraft, and now it's Minecraft inside of one of Nintendo's premier games, these business moves make you really question what happens next from here. Things are clearly ramping up between the two companies, and I love to see it. I love that whoever designed all of these moves for Smash, they clearly have a love of the Minecraft. I mean, stuff like being able to smelt up a iron sword, stuff like the minecart tracks, still have no idea how that works. It's all going to be crazy, and just in case you are not a big Smash person, I'll be honest, I haven't played much Smash Ultimate. I was a huge Melee fan back in the day, and then I skipped the, the one for the Wii, and everyone said it wasn't so great anyway. And then, while I wasn't playing, uh, a huge competitive community developed, which is great, but having a competitive community just makes it less accessible for the end player, which, you know, like, it's something I've always went to dive into, but there's a whole story behind me and Nintendo games and why I'm not the biggest Smash person anymore, but I used to love Smash. The idea of, uh, you know, Steven Smash is a whole interesting thing, but if you're not the biggest player and you're like, so how is this going to work? Steve is actually DLC for Smash. If you're curious as to, you know, like what that even means, basically you can download a, uh, you know, either a whole uh, Smash Pass or you can just download a single fighter at a time. And uh, when you download that, because it's DLC, it means it's not just the character. I mean, you saw that it's not just Steve, it's Alex as well. You saw that it's also got the Enderman and the zombie skins, which to me look like background characters, but they used all the same moves. Um, but then uh, as well as this, you can see the previous challenger packs like Min Min from ARMS. Uh, you know, it comes with not only the character, um, but also you get a stadium. We saw that stadium kind of shown in the trailer, but also it comes with music tracks. So you better believe it. You will be able to jam out to some Minecraft music inside of Smash. I mean, the songs that they pick should be mostly pretty obvious. I mean, we'll see some Sweden's, we'll see some stuff like that. It will be very weird and, you know, jarring to see that played by Smash, but whatever. Um, but the really exciting thing here is if they're picking like 18 music tracks, obviously it's going to be like somewhere between a dozen and 18. It would make a lot of sense, would it not, if they picked Pig Step, perhaps by Lena Rain. I'm just saying the dream of having Pig Step and Smash might be achievable. And yeah, just anyway, long story short, uh, there's a lot of cool stuff happening. This is one of the smartest listens to the community I've ever seen. And I love that we're seeing that because we saw a big time where, you know, community says X, Minecraft does Y. Community says Y, Minecraft does, uh, you know, Z times 12, uh, and so on and so forth uh, with all the monetization stuff. This is, this is the easiest win that both companies can have. It's adding Steve to Smash. I love it, and it makes me think, if they've listened to the community there, where else is Minecraft listening to the community? <laughs> Cave update, you know, look, look, like we just don't know what's going to be in the next update, but we do know when it's going to be revealed. That is, of course, Saturday, the 3rd of October, um, and that's going to be at 9 a.m. West, Eastern, Western time of the United States, midday Eastern, and an hour and a half before that, if you want, you can catch the Smash uh, preview where they show off Steve, etc. So we have a action-packed day on Saturday. I am looking forward to it and honestly you know what this video as I release it I'm not gonna believe it even though I put like Steve reveal for smash I'm gonna look at that and assume it was a meme so if you looked at that and saw uh, saw that too you know what? this whole video was a joke I'm sorry I tricked you I got you all good ha 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 you thought this was real but no this was actually a big ploy I faked all these videos myself they definitely don't exist anywhere else and this was a whole ploy to make sure that you come to my live stream later today I want to get back into the streaming I've missed it so much and today we are going to be starting hopefully a little bit of a trend um, and I'm going to be playing uh, this map it's called Ultra Hard Survival Scorched it is apparently Minecraft Marketplace's hardest map it sounds really good and I'm going to be checking it out and uh, that's right go to Minecraft Marketplace download Ultra Hard Survival Scorched I definitely don't have financial interest in you doing so. Uh, but no, more seriously, I'm excited to play my own map um, as a like downloaded thing, marketplace template. And I'm going to hopefully not die. I'm obviously that's a ridiculous goal. But every 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 person who uh, you know downloaded the map is like, yeah, I died five times, ten times, six times, whatever. I want to see how well I can do at my own map because probably not very well, right? But let's see if I can get the 16 colors of concrete powder, or if I'll die in the dust. We don't know for sure, but come check out my live stream. We're gonna be putting a, a big effort into that, uh, even though my sh I'm, I'm gonna be making the streaming setup work for it all, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there later today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, actually, later today for that live stream, and then tomorrow for some more news, and then the day after, we can talk, we, we finally got Minecon Live, 
You excited? We're gonna learn about the next update, 1.17, but I digress. Live streams every day until then, including on Saturday the 3rd of October. Okay, goodbye.